Hi everyone, Hello. I'm Rachel. And I'm Adam, and we are here at Epcot. Beautiful day for the Festival of the Arts. Yes, it's very pretty outside today. We're here to try lots of food and mm -hmm. see lots of art, and hopefully we may get to meet one of our favorite Disney artists as well a little later. So let's go find some magic. Let's go. All right, now we're gonna go to our first stop, Modern, because a lot of people have been talking about it, so let's go see what we think. All right, the first thing we're going to try is the watermelon tataki. Yeah, this, this one has is, been very controversial so far. We've heard very mixed reviews, so excited to try it. It says that it is pickled water with pickled watermelon rind, yuzu pearls, watermelon foam, and wasabi. They put wasabi on it already, and there's also wasabi on the side, so it's probably going to be a little spicy even without the added wasabi, just in case anyone doesn't like spicy. All right, wait, let me. I need a little bit of everything. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. That's really good. It's quite the interesting mix of flavors. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. A lot of people were saying it was very salty, but <laughs> it's not that I don't salty. get that. Although, I'm someone who puts salt on their watermelon, so I guess I'm not the one to be talking. It's mm. not bad. Mm hmm. Interesting mix of flavors. I'm gonna give this a seven out of ten. It's actually not bad on a hot day. I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. I really like it right now. I love all the flavors. It's very flavorful. Not um, bad. I love the little sesame seed. There's a uh, black and white sesame seeds on yeah. top. I love the sesame flavor and the yuzu. I want to try the little yuzu pearls on their own. Mm. I'm gonna get that too. Oh, that's salty. Maybe that's what the salt's yeah, coming from. Strange. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try the next thing. Yeah, next thing. All right, next is going to be the scallops. This is pan-seared scallops with vanilla butternut squash puree and brown butter cauliflower puree and lime. Bite everything. Bite everything there. All right, I'm surprised you're trying this with me. Something in there is very sweet. Yeah, I think it's one of these purees. It this must one's be. not my favorite. I don't love scallops, so. It's uh I love scallops. It's probably really good if you like scallops. Yeah, and I do. The flavors are very interesting. I want to try these um purees on their own. Mm. Oh yeah. Why? It's Why? Like whipped cream. Yeah, it tastes exactly like whipped cream. It's weird. I don't okay. White foam, no. The rest of it I love. I'll give it like an eight and a half out of ten. I'm gonna just try the scallops on top. I don't recommend whatever the white cream is, though. Scallop on a ton is better than everything with it, to me. I'll give it a six out of ten. That's could fair be, for someone who doesn't like scallops. Could be better. Could be worse. Mm. All right, next is the angry crab, which is a whole crispy soft shell crab with green papaya salad, mango sriracha fluid gel, coconut lime foam, and pomegranate and mango crushed pearls. I've never had thing. soft shell crab. I don't think I have either. I'm very, but... I'm willing to try it though. All right, here we go. All right. Ready? I got a yep. big bite. Me too. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's wow. good. Mm. That's delicious. That is really holy good. Crap. Holy crap. I like this a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, holy crap. This is delicious. It's sweeter than you would ex expect it mm -hmm. to be, but it's, it goes really well. It's very refreshing. Yeah, this little like salad with it too is amazing. I've loved everything here so far. I would get all of these again, to be very honest with you. I like this crab a lot. Everything does have a bit of like a seafoody taste. Um, yeah. Not the watermelon, obviously, but the crab and the scallop. So you have to be a seafood fan. Yeah, it's, to like it's these. a little fishy. But if you like seafood, you'll love these. These are both really good. I'll give this one a seven out of ten. I'm really surprised by it and I like it, but it's not my favorite thing. This one's gonna get from me an eight and a half. Surprising, but the winner. All right, in the spirit yep. of the Epcot festivals, now that we got some food, we have to get some drinks, right? That's right, I'm thirsty now. Yeah. One little spark. 
of. All right. So what is this? This is the a passion fruit hard cider. I think from Three Daughters. Mm. So it sounded really good. I've been on a passion fruit kick lately. Cheers. And cheers. <laughs> Not supposed to drink on YouTube. That's good. Very tasty. It's really, really good. I cannot recommend this enough. It's it's sweet, but it's still cidery. Like I taste yeah. the appleiness still, but it's really good. I could definitely I like that a lot. finish this on my own. That is gonna get an eight out of ten for me. That's pretty that's really good. Nine and a half out of ten for me. You know me. what? No. It's a really I'll maybe it, a ten. I don't know. You know what? It gets a ten out of ten. For eight and a half. Me. I for really, me. really love it. I bumped this. it up. It's good. Okay. Next. Gets ten. We can drink the cutest this one. thing. This Look is how cute. The figment smoothie, a grape smoothie. It's got freeze dried Skittles on the top here. Mm -hmm. Don't spill it. I'm not gonna spill it. All right, we got this. It's showing. It. It's so cute. It did show it. Very very cute. I right. showed it. Stupid paper straw. So. Yeah, we don't like paper straw. I, well, I don't like grape, Skittle. but I want to try a Skittle. Yeah. I'll I'll take, try a Skittle first. I'll take an orange one since I'll you wait. don't like orange Skittles. <gasps> it's, it's a, a double, double one. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. That's one. really cool. Tastes just like a Skittle, but really crispy. All right, I'm gonna try this. What's the texture of that? Like um. Like a crunchy cheese puff. Oh, that's good. Crispier than cheese puff. Mmm. Crunchy. Oh man, that's good. You gotta try that I'm one. scared. I, I'm not a grape person, so please like don't grape. take this person. It's a mild grape. It's good. Oh, it tastes like Diamond Tap! It does not. <laughs> it tastes exactly like Diamond Tap! If you, okay, if you've ever had Diamond Tap, I'm not recommending trying that as, as medicine. This is good. But if no. you've had it when you've needed it, this tastes like. No, I need the. Oh, sorry. Oh my. You don't need mm. more of that. <laughs> this is good. This gets no, a no. A nine out of ten for me. It this gets is a really diamond nice. hat out of ten for me. And these skittles cool. are great. That's my biggest problem with grape flavored things. Is it tastes like medicine? Is there another one for me? Mm -hmm. Can I There's have the red one. one or the? You can have the red one. You're not gonna drink the smoothie. Don't eat any more of the skittles. I won't. You didn't you. earn them. Oh, I man. did get something else though. I here. missed it. More my speed. Fruit pizza! Look how cute this is. Uh, let's see if I can show it. I think. This is one of like the cheaper items at the festival, it's like too. It's three something. Yeah, it's $3.75. Mm. There's a balsamic berry glaze on it. Looks like some basil as well. Cheers. I don't know if Adam's gonna try this one, but. Mm. I'll probably try it, but just to say I tried it. You'll probably like it. You think it's so? very berry forward. It's not watermelon forward mm. at all. Um, especially with the the glaze isn't balsamic-y. It's just very um like a berry jam is honestly what it kind of tastes like. All right, pass it over. Let me get you a bite. Give me a bite. She's gonna get me a bite. I think the white stuff on top of it's like a vegan cheese or something. Mm. I'm not quite sure, but it doesn't. Interesting. There's not a lot of it, so you can't really taste that. Give me that blueberry too. Okay. Sweet. Look how colorful it is. Beautiful bite. <laughs> oh, I dropped oh, the blueberry, no, but I caught it. I caught it. Did you guys see that? I don't know. I can eat with the knife. Mmm. It's not bad. I'll get you a napkin. You always for, um, always keep a, a, a pocket of napkins. For a couple dollars? Three, four bucks? Yeah. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. I think I like the other watermelon better just because it's more different. This, this is, is just very like this is berries way and better. watermelon. Okay. No, this is way okay. better than the uh, the other watermelon thing. I like this much more. Okay. That's well. way more refreshing. I like that. Glad you like it. Now that we've had our sweets, let's go get something savory again. We're also going to come back to this. Uh, the figment uh the odyssey pavilion sorry yeah. couldn't think of the name of it that a little one. later because we want to look through all the artwork in there and hopefully yeah, meet some of the artists so they got a whole display set up in there it looks really cool it does but we just wanted something sweet for now but we'll definitely be back in there very shortly now we have the glass rachel yeah. just rinsed it out cute little souvenir to take home now very too. adorable definitely worth it yes
bubbles. New bubble machine. So I love the Figment ride. He's not so much a fan, it's but fun. Figment is the mascot for this festival, so I feel like we have to go on today at some point, right? Are you right? trying to justify the Figment ride to me right now? Yes, I sure am. The first thing from the Painted Panda booth we're going to try is the Silk Road Hard Lemonade. It's Smirnoff Vodka, Lavender Coconut Syrup, and Lemonade. We heard that you can't taste the coconut, so we'll yeah. see. Yeah. Want to try it first? Sure. There's... Oh, that's nice. Yeah? Very lavender. You do taste the coconut a little bit. From someone who doesn't like coconut, it's there a little bit. Oh yeah, but, you can taste it But the lavender bit. is nice. The lavender is really It offsets good. it. Yeah. Hmm. I don't really taste lemonade though. Yeah, I don't really taste lemonade too. I just mostly taste, I think, that lavender coconut syrup, probably. The lavender is really nice though. It is. I don't it's love good. it, but it, yeah, it's not bad. It's a 7 out of 10. It's not bad. I'll say a 7 too. Not my favorite, not my favorite. Not bad, yeah. Though. Right, what next? Now, the real thing I'm excited for. The shumai. It is just General Tso's chicken shumai. So, would you like a fork or a chopstick? Fork, please. Fork for you. Yeah, just grab the whole thing. Yeah. And there's little um, cucumbers underneath it as well. Mm. Looks really good. I want some cucumbers. <laughs> it's so big. It's heavy. There we go. Oh, yeah. It's probably easier to eat with a fork. Indeed. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Oh wow, that's really good. This is one of the more expensive items of the festival, but look how much of the meat is in there. So it seems worth it, very filling. Is this hitting the spot for the savory things? This you really good. wanted something savory. Yeah, I was in so. the mood for something savory. This is really good. This one's gonna get a... Kinda tastes like chicken sausage. Seven and a half out of 10. I'll give this one a 7 out of 10. I like it, but not as much as some other things, but still pretty good. It's not bad. Oh, we gotta try the other thing, too. Mmm. Mm-hmm. She's, she's trying to cut you guys off. We still gotta Sorry. try the last thing. <laughs> Don't apologize to me. Char shoe pork bun. Mm. There's a lot more sauce on this one than there was last yeah. year that we had. The it's sauce beautiful. is a lot brighter. It does look really good. It's very red. It is bright red. All right. I think it's supposed to be that way. I'm moving my hair. I know I'm going to get hair. sauce all over me. Well, have at it. All right, I'll uh, take a bite out of the side here. Oh, thank you, dear. Well, <laughs> can't get it in there. It won't stay. There. I feel like I should just like cut a bite of this. Yeah. <laughs> my turn. Go for it. But let go of it. <laughs> she didn't want to give it up. This one's good. We had it last time. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give this one 8 out of 10. Solid. I'll give this one a 9 out of 10. I really love it. Um, the pork is really good. The bow it's in is really soft. Can't go wrong with this. There's a reason we got it again this year. Can't go wrong. All right, since we've had so much to eat now, I think we need to chill out a little bit and maybe go on some rides. So, Let's do it. three caballeros. Sounds good. So I didn't notice before, but it's very glittery inside. Sparkly. Sparklicious. <laughs> so Adam just reminded me, I'm not sure which festival it was for, but there was a hibiscus lemonade gin drink. And that's where we so found good. out that we like gin so much. Um, it was but delicious. It was amazing. Hopefully they bring that back they at some point. There's never back. enough gin drinks at the festivals. Required <laughs> me. Virtually no line for three caballeros. Woo right I know. I really want 
these fireworks in my house. I think these are so pretty. We could probably figure it out. I want the animatronic birds in our house. Mmm, fireworks. To us. Fireworks. No, pan down. There you go. Right there. That's what I want. Sweet go. That was a lot of fun. We haven't been on yes, that in a while. Was. I love that ride. Me too. It's always a good time. Such a fun ride. I think we're going to go do the paint by numbers now. They only have it available while the sun's out. I think till 4 or 5 p.m. So definitely want to make sure we do that. We have to hurry. One of my favorites. Hurry. We're I mean, not we have a good, make it. We're not going to make it. Oh my God. It's a rainbow figment right now. So these are the four that we could do, and they switched through them. I wish we had one of the ones on the far end. Rachel wants the Starry Night one. But it's the figment right now. We're going to do that one. Get the brush. I guess when I finish, they can do that one. Yeah. Just got Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, see where you want to go. There's six sixes right there, so I'll do that one. There we go. Don't mess it up. Oh, yep, I got paint on me now. Oh, no. Oh, no. You wished this upon me. I would never. It was the wind. Yeah, that's right. It totally wasn't your fault. No. How could it be? You're in charge here. I'm not in charge. All right. That's all you're going to do? Wait. Yeah, you're not supposed to do too many, so everyone else can do one. Okay. That sounds good. Good job. This is what we got. Very cute. Pigment bookmark. Oh, this one says 2023 too. I have oh, one nice. up by my desk, so I'll add this to it. Add it to the collection. We're just walking. I didn't say anything to Adam, but guess where we're going next? Oh no, she tricked me. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh, I know where we're going. Amen. We got our own cart, you know what that means. I'm singing. Uh -oh. She was going to anyways. Okay, come on everybody, here we go! Pigment, you are not to interfere with the tour! Our stop. No! It's a sound lab. Left ear? Left ear? Oh my god. Right ear. Left? Right! Uh, let's begin by using the eye chart to test your vision. Now, all together, if you would please read line three. You can see things differently. Sure, you can see with your eyes, but imagine what you could see if you used your imagination. Follow the bouncing movement. I'll stop now. Let's find the light. Can light your fancy. Your light is more. Then what your eyes see, your sense of sight, can make your fancy fly. There's more to sight than meets the eye. Now, here's a real old house. Come on in. So, what do you think? Is it me? More than you can imagine. But, Doc, it's exactly what I imagine. Right at the start, it's not everything we do. If you know us, we are a huge fan of the stem ciders, hard ciders. Yes, we are. And we can't get them rarely anywhere, especially not in Florida. But they yes, usually fine. have them at Epcot festivals. So there's a special new one for the festival this year here. Sorry you can't see me because of the sun. sun. <laughs> but we're going to head over there now. It's all the way in Morocco, so we have quite the walk. We have a but walk, yeah. We stayed cool in the Figment Pavilion for a little while first, so I think we're ready to go. Let's do it.
We got our stem cider. Cheers. It is Floxar hard cider. So I looked it up because it doesn't really give a description. Apparently it's apple, cucumber, hibiscus with fresh melon notes. Sounds so, good. Sounds really good. Oh, cheers. cheers. Oh, that's very I definitely taste the cucumber. I taste the melon a lot. The melon and cucumber, I think, is what's strongest. They are the strongest. It's good, though. That it's is good. Yeah, nice it's different. It's not too refreshing. sweet at all. That's something I love about their ciders, is they're usually not too sweet. Yeah. We had These their the lavender best. one a few years ago, and oh, oh, if we could get that one again, I would be so happy. <laughs> it's pretty good. It is pretty I good. Like this. It's um, really refreshing. I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of 10. It's very refreshing, I'll, very fruity. I'll do the same. That sounds about right. Yeah, this it's very good. fruity and good. Cucumber and melon are probably definitely the two strongest flavors in my opinion. I think we're going to end our food tour at Deco Delights with the orange mousse. This sounds really good. And now for dessert, we have this very, very pretty dessert. It's it beautiful. is orange mousse, lemon cake, and raspberry meringues. There you go. Thank you. Let's see. Right. I'll try this first. This? Oh, this is on like a little cookie, a little orange mousse. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Okay. I'm trying to try it with some of the, whatever that is. Oh, yeah, there's like a blue and a yellow gel on here. On here. Mmm. Oh, that's delicious. Mm hmm. I love meringues. Mmm. Mm. This is definitely a highlight today. Mm hmm. This is delightful. Mm hmm Very bright and fruity, citrusy. Mm -hmm. Oh, on no. the floor. Although we're very, we love anything citrusy. <laughs> this is very good. This is delicious. I'll... This is by far the best thing I've eaten so far today. Yeah, this is probably definitely up there for me as well. I mean, I'll give this a 10 out of 10 because I would order this again in a heartbeat. This I gets love a this. 9 out of 10 for me. Mm. What's an Epcot festival without merch? So let's go check out the creation shop. Let's go check it out. Lots of these little figment munchlings. This one's a fruity fig bar figment. Very cute. I think a lot of these are scented too. There's so many of them. There's also a larger corksicle for this festival. Oh, that one's nice. Yeah, it's pretty cute. It's expensive though. This one's 45, so it's the bigger size. And then there is a mug with figment and Festival of the Arts. Seems like you draw your own art here. It says add chalk art here, but it doesn't come with any. So BYOC, bring your own chalk. <laughs> Oh, and there's also a spirit jersey. I couldn't think of what they were called at first. Also some pins and magic bands with the year. There's this pin. Then there's also this one. Oh, there's a special pass holder figment shirt too. chalk it up to something magical. That's really cute. So we filmed a video for Lunar New Year last year because we're both Year the Tiger and for Year the Rabbit this year, there is stuff here. Maybe, maybe things are changing. Is that Judy Pops? It is, because she's a bunny. Very cute. I wish they did all this last year too here. Oh, Rabbit from Winnie the Pooh probably. I'm glad we're finally getting some of the stuff here for uh, Disney World, not just Disneyland. They get all the fun. So we found a regular Epcot corksicle as well. We love the corksicles. We were like, these are really expensive, but we use them almost every day. They hold up really well. All right, continuing the saga, of the, the soap saga. Weekly magic soap channel. This one is Hints of Clove. Remove joy pattern for Christmas. Very cute. I have not seen this one yet, so maybe we'll find some more. <laughs> so we are looking at all of these and it's pretty cute. It's little Tinkerbell for Disney 100. Then I was looking at this one first and I was so confused. I was like, does it hang the other way? Because look, this one has the little emblem on upside down. Maybe one day. 
Maybe. <laughs> I feel like Ben would like this. Oh yeah, look, Grogu's Grogu in the back. back there, yeah. I feel like Ben would actually like this. Well, we'll it's see. probably very expensive though. Well, when, I, do you know when what? Ben yeah. starts paying <laughs> rent. Yeah. Maybe another time then. All right, so we actually just walked through right outside the creation shop. There is a little uh, um, art display there. Yeah, there's yeah. a whole art display. And one of the artists by the name of Michael Provenzo is there painting, and we were just blown away. We sat yeah. for a while, looked at his works, and we got to speak we with, him. with him. A little. Yeah, and he's very he's, nice. Very he's welcoming. very, very nice. If you're here, look at his work. Beautiful um, work. Just yeah. amazing. And he has his own style too, and there's like some realistic elements, same with some, mm -hmm. but they also just are so incredibly detailed they look Very, like they yeah. were done digitally a lot of them they're just so detailed and impressive they're fantastic so please check him out we're gonna have to get something by him even if just a print at his some work point is gorgeous, his work yeah. is very gorgeous and he has lots of little elements and things like his trees especially take a look at all the little details on his trees i just i'm so blown away definitely met a new favorite artist of ours for sure today absolutely all right, and now we're going to head back inside the Odyssey Pavilion because we're hoping to meet Dave Perillo. They have an army of figment popcorn buckets. They have a table that's... Did you used to have one of these? Yeah, I think so. I think they make them out of plastic now. Yeah, There's a little figment in the table, too. Here's the ones they had available for Dave Perillo, but unfortunately, they're sold out of two of them, the Grand Fiesta Tour and Sunny Eclipse. We were hoping for either the Grand Fiesta Tour or his Spaceship Earth one, or he did a Muppet Vision 3D one that is just absolutely amazing. If I can find a picture of it, I'll put it on screen. Uh, but we did get the Space Mountain one that he did, which is also super cute. It's amazing. All of his art is just, we love it. So we can't wait to meet him. We got the stuff. It's also That's no right. extra cost. So if you get something by the artist, they'll sign it for you if they're here. And here he is signing. All right. Here it is. He Even put a little Mickey us. on he it. He put for a little us. Mickey. He's a very nice guy. Very nice. Beautiful piece of art. Absolutely. He is the best art. Awesome experience. All right. So when he was signing it, he gave us a tip to check at the pavilion in America. This was the one that we really, really wanted. And there it is. Yes. He was so right. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Dave. We're gonna get it. Oh, yes, please. All right, there it is, and we had him sign it. He drew a nice, adorable little spaceship Earth on it for us, just for us. So perfect. I'm so happy that we got this. It made my day that we were able to get this one. Yeah. And he was able to tell us these are some of his favorite scenes and we were able to talk to him for a while. Just such a nice guy, such a great experience, and the perfect thing to get for Festival of the Arts. Exactly. Yeah, we've had quite the art-filled Festival of the yes. Arts, haven't we? A very artful day. Good old farts. <laughs> All right. All right, and that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for joining us. We had such a fun time here at yes, Festival of the Arts today. Thank and let you. us know what other kind of videos you'd like yeah. us Put to make Put in the comments well. if you have suggestions. If yeah. you enjoyed this video. if there's video, anything you want us to try as well. Yes. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Yes, It would help us do. out a lot. Yes, it would. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, and we'll see you in another video. We'll see you next time. Thank Bye. you. Bye, everyone. What do you do? What do you do? There you go. You're welcome. Thank you. What is that bird doing? Dancing. I guess so. I like to move and move. That's the wrong part. I know. Yeah. <laughs> He's watching. Always <laughs> watching. I know. <laughs>